So I'm starting off by completely removing everything else but the grand, I mean the station, the old station, because I'm thinking that this used to be the old station, that building right there, and it just expanded later on. And it, and every like transport system is there. We have bus, which is on the left. As you can see, I removed the terminal. On the right, we have tram, and then we have a metro going over the station. I mean, above it, an elevated metro, and we have sunken rail. I decided to change this because I have downloaded roads and we've been doing tons of redevelopment in the city because the old builds were fine but I had a lot of change in the series and this is what this is one of them so I'm changing these roads first because I have these new road assets which are roundabout roads they have they have this like roundabout road which is a one-way road and then they have an approach road which is a four-lane road and they automatically have these like detailings with them and these are not just normal roundabout roads they are bike roundabout roads with bike lanes so Sister City is very much accessible by all modes of transport, by foot, by bike, by cars, by tram, bus, and even trail. I want to extend the bikeability of this place because we are taking inspiration from Burnham's plan. And this train station here is located in Tutuban in Manila, which there's also a station there as you can see. But trains in the Philippines are almost non-existent because I don't know. It just is, which sucks. We're investing in trains, but we're still a long way to go. So yeah, I'm changing these um, roundabouts. I mean, those like intersections as you may have seen before into roundabouts because they are supposed to actually be roundabouts in the plan by Burnham. But I just wasn't able to pull it off with the roads that I had before with all the clipping issues and the amount of detailing it would have taken. These new roundabout roads are perfect and they have everything that I need. I'm just using um, network segment and controller to, um, node controller basically, to control the like things in the roundabout. But yeah, I'm now going to be adding in this, um, uh, what they call this, inside of the roundabout, like the curb. <laughs> and that is like a Dutch roundabout curb in the center. And I placed a fountain in the middle, another bamboo rinsing fountain in the middle that's from indonesia and the train station the old station is also an indonesian asset by fayid and he has amazing assets and this station just fits in i'm also going to be changing this road right here because this is a tram road this used to traverse just this used to go through the intersection and it was very weird and we don't want traffic here to move we don't want traffic to move smoothly here, so I decided to just sink down the um, the tram to go underneath the road, and we will have an underground station inside as a part of the building itself. Later on, you will see that. I'm just using segment and controller to once again align the nodes properly and make everything move. I mean, and make everything smooth. And now we are going to be doing the station itself. I mean, it's an all-in-one station. We have, first I'm placing down this elevated metro line. I changed the one from before because, you know, I just want to keep it minimal. I went too far. I mean, the ambition for the first build was a little bit too much. And I decided to just tone it down a little bit, make it more simpler and more elegant in that sense. So I'm changing the train asset to this one. This is a modular train asset and I'm going to be sinking it down. I didn't really like the elevated one because there's really not much sense to place an elevated line here because we just built through the tunnel in the um in the in the mountains so if they can afford to build a tunnel they might as well afford to sink down the, the trains and i think that the trains were actually sunk down before they upgraded to high speed rail which is what we have here we have a high speed rail train system i'm using the shinkansen um, road train assets, I mean the rail assets, because they just look nice. And they have been elevated, now I'm going to be sinking them down. And sinking them down allows me to, you know, allows the place to have unobstructed views of the other areas. And I'm planning on covering this place up, you know, similar to Hudson Yards, because the city has limited space and the land value here is very, very high. 
We also have a similar one, I guess the Shard is also located near a station in London. I'm gonna be taking inspiration from those at this back, but we have, behind the station actually, but we have some issues with um, building regulations at this side because of the Capitol building and the Vista. And speaking of the Capitol building, I will be changing that as well in the future. Now we are doing retaining walls at the side because you wouldn't want people to just, you know, going about and then falling into the trains, you know? even though that's not likely but yeah i'm using these japanese ones because i've been using them quite a lot and these are just amazing since we're using japanese rail assets why don't we just use japanese retaining wall assets and i'm sinking them down to just clean up the look i'm not going too much into detail because whenever i go too much into detail i literally don't get anything done and in this episode we get a lot of things done we're also redoing the bus station now i was thinking that the bus station would actually be underground since you want to maximize the land here for development but since the city skylines and i want to see the bus moving and going about in the city i decided to just use uh the inner city inner city bus terminal which is from uh sunset harbor sunset harbor i just become became australian anyways they're from sunset harbor and they are amazing and later on you'll see in the live play how everything moves how everything works and even in the cinematics you'll see traffic moving especially when we get into the road building but here i'm just placing down this new building here i removed all the buildings at the side if you watched the previous episodes i decided to change to them to much newer and slimmer buildings they like they're like a three buildings but with varying heights these are from reaper's asset collection and they are from patreon is patreon assets so subscribing was literally a no-brainer and it was amazing the assets are amazing you'll see a lot more of them especially in the bgc makati type of area okay now we have done with the bus station bus terminal i'm going into the tram side now here i decided to make it sunken but you can't place a station underground I, I mean i decided to make it sunken you can place a station underground so we just sank the um, road to be leveled with the underground level so that's where the station is gonna be and i'm just covering it up with these grass assets this is actually a park or a build this is a building and i just cover this up so that we won't be we won't see the imperfections because i don't want to go too much into detail there anymore because yeah that's what we're doing which that's why we're redoing these places to make them look better and also to limit the amount of um assets they have because i still want the series to progress further and i've just had this like urge sudden surge of inspiration and we're also adding in here at the side some like coverings but yeah, I'm also adding in the front this extended awning over the front because I want to make it look like I want to preserve its um, aesthetic but also give it a modern vibe. Just tying everything together. And this um, front of the building, I'm going to be placing a plinth here, an elevated part. And I'm using this stair asset and turning it into procedural objects to basically turn it into a stair that can also be used for seating. So people can sit down here and just chill while waiting for a train or while they're enjoying the view of the square. This is Tutuban Square. I'm taking inspiration from Times Square because if you might have seen like me panning, you'd see those giant billboards. They're actually Times Square buildings. And I'm thinking that this is the kind of kind of like the Times Square of Magayon because we have the Times Square buildings. And this is where they, they have like huge events here, especially in um, during New Year, I'm going to be showing you guys an example on how this place transforms into the New Year. Or maybe I should just, you know, give it to you on the New Year for a New Year special episode. We have a lot of places in the city that is just perfect for fireworks. And here at the corner, I am fixing the procedural object stairs and making them at an angle to align at the corner. You know, because we want to have that like corner vibe going on i also used a concrete um as network to use as the elevated base and i extended the um the road from uh, what the luxury shopping center from pilakan 
which is the Ginza of Magayon, and I extended that into the station. Now, let's just imagine that people biking, um, they go underneath that, but I wasn't able to place. They don't use that road. They go around it. They might park it somewhere, but I didn't want to detail it too much because, you know, the frame rate is a little bit slow here already, especially at high settings. So yeah, we gotta have some trade-offs for the good of the majority. But yeah, I decided to add this like um, grass thingies here because having a very long stretch of stairs is just a little bit too much. And maintaining that is just, I don't know, it just seemed too big. And I added in, I fixed the detailing here, by the way, the bike lane to also make it um, the same color as the entire bike network of the city, which is this um, reddish type of pink, almost orangey. Yeah, just to tie everything together. I also decided to extend the um, slopes or the terraces, Banamarai's terraces inspiration on the Bob Philippines. I extended that over here to the side, but later on, I will be changing this one to better fit the weird angle that it's placed on. As yeah, I'm also adding in a road here so that the buses will look like they're going to elevated grounds. Because if you have, if you don't have like an open space here, we have trees and they would still go through the trees, but I don't want them to look like they're go going through it. I want them to look like there's a literal space given to them to walk on. And now I'm doing the landscaping. Now the landscaping here will be similar to how we landscape um, major areas in the city. Now I'm thinking, I don't want to go too much on the landscaping here. I'm just placing down trees along the roads, but I wanted to keep the um, square very much open, but I also wanted to give it shade because I'm thinking that the square would be a place to gather, especially when there are massive events. But I decided to just place trees down because it's still much more important. Most of the time, there wouldn't be mass gatherings happening here. Most of the time, this is just where people stay while waiting for the trains or this is like a tourist destination. So I'm thinking that the plants here, they can be moved. But, you know, I didn't have the patience to place individual massive plots or like pots so that they can move this place when they ever they need them. And now we are doing the roundabouts i mean we're going back to the roundabouts because this is how i essentially function i do one thing leave it forget about it do another thing and just completely forget about it but thankfully i got reminded myself i reminded myself that oh i still have something to do so i'm doing it now i'm a little bit like that i'm all over the place when i'm building and it took me five i just i was just playing for five hours continuously and look at the traffic though it's slow but it doesn't stop you know it serves its purpose and i'm also going to be making as i've said a bypass road to go underneath this because those who don't want to go into this place or just want to use a circumferential road from the highway because it's connected directly to a highway like a literal highway without intersections i mean there's one but yeah i want to make a bypass road for that and i'm changing the um, color of the bike network there as you might have seen i'm changing them into a similar color to make everything united there are already a lot of people you know uh, making their way into the station and i just fixed the intersection here to be uh, become a little bit more friendly to pedestrians and this part of the city is one of the most pleasant places to be but this is kind of a tourist trap you know, the residents in the city wouldn't really be staying too much here because there would be tons of tourists. Like, this is just where they, they just pass through here. Most most people who visit here are tourists. And yeah, a little bit of that. And I'm just copying, I'm just con changing also the color of the bikes here on the side and also here on the side as well. The amazing thing about segment and controller, I mean load controller, is I can basically make these roads work like before we couldn't this wasn't even possible this was unheard of within the new mods that we have almost there's a lot of things possible that wasn't before and we're going to be having a lot more reworks coming soon because <laughs> i just don't have the capacity to plan something out 
in a major way because I'm really busy with school. So I just decided to just rework some of the old bills because they are in dire need of help. And here I am changing the pedestrian lane to a custom one to make it more unified. And you can see how roundabouts really can handle traffic better than if it was an intersection. Roundabouts are great. Roundabouts are amazing. And this place has a lot of space to fit in a roundabout. So it's it's a no-brainer. It's no it's like perfect for this place. And as I've said in the original plan, there were two roundabouts here. So this is kind of like a dumbbell intersection. But yeah, people can cross anywhere because this is a people first build and they are the priority here. Now I'm just adding in curbs here because the original road, as you can see on the left, had a curb on the side. But since I'm using two different, these are basically three roads next to each other connecting into one, while two of them connect to a roundabout and one sinks down. I'm also adding in um, invisible paths under it so that people would actually walk on those spaces so that we could see some action, give the city some life. Um, in the Philippines, we have a lot of these like fences on the sides of the city, of the roads actually, and they protect the people from the traffic. And they also serve as an aesthetic that is uniquely in unique in places. And the fence that I'm using here is one of, it's kind of like a high end type of fence, which is fitting for this place because it's literally the core of this part of the city the core of transportation and it's next to well it's next to a luxury shopping district yeah just fitting those in i might have used a network but the network ones are just they're just not perfect and they change depending on how long the segments are it changes but this one is more uniform i also added in some decals to give it a little bit more detail and change the priority here so that we don't have that clogging issue as you can see it's smooth now now you're seeing what i was talking about a while ago which is i changed this um terrace here to fit in better to the surrounding now this part is a very the land value here is so high i was thinking on placing another skyscraper here but it just didn't fit in so i just decided that this is a protected view another protected corner or side there's significance to this um limiting the capability of a skyscraper being built i mean you can build it but there is like restrictions in place to block it to be built i just decided to just place a base which is famous in magayon you have a lot of these base buildings covered at the top by grass yes yes and then i just added in some trees and covered up those air conditioning vents and it just gives it a little bit more life we have also this side entrance here which is one of the most amazing one of the amazing places here there's a little bit more private and secluded place but the most private one is of course the one near the tram station and yeah we have this gorgeous this is we have this is very walkable we have very wide walkable streets now i want to put the people first while planning this so yeah i had this was badly needed the revamp and i just placed back the um the clock tower there because there used to be a clock tower there before i deleted it because you know i just selected everything and just accidentally deleted the building and yeah now we're doing the detailing i added in these like um stone with the grass going through them and i decided to just make it grass because this was a little bit too pavementy and pavement doesn't is not really good for like especially when it's rainy it can cause floods i want the i want the ground to be able to let water seep underground and we had we have a lot of space for water to pass through you know ventilation and not ventilation drainage gen age not ventilation air anyways yeah so i'm just using these decals once again and i just decided to place down some trees there now the, the landscaping here i decided to just keep it low not in the detail like in the heights of the bushes keep them small they don't really give off that much shade but you really wouldn't be staying here unless there is an event because this is just basically a pass through you just walk through here and just 
don't mind it but we do have fountains here we have a fountain there the side i was trying to use the fountain asset but it was a little bit too big so i decided to make my own fountain by using the fountain jets asset and water decals which is just perfect i added in another one here at the side at the uh at the square is that a square or something a quadrangle but yeah that is like that and we're now going into the night now there are a lot of places in the city which still have incomplete lighting and i decided that i should probably place down lights here before i forget and in the cinematics for the city like i have there were a lot of dark spots in the city where it should already have been lit but that was because of the update i wasn't able to update everything else so yeah that's that and i now have a chance to make everything look better here i added in some upward spotlights that are dim to make the pillars defined added in more spotlights on the side to make the building more significant because this is an historically significant building it's quite old i think it's like 1905 building and 1910s in that in the lore of Mogollon. and i also added in some lights here at the um uh, metro station at the bus station as well and i'm using the yellow ones to give it a little bit more regal vibes but i'm not sure on giving it yet completely yellow because it's quite modern but yeah we're now going to be going into the live place so that we can show you guys the build in more detail and welcome back to the live play this is now the station fully done like i'm not going to be adding anything more i think it's the perfect um blend of everything here we have the main station itself this entire block here that is a station this entire thing but this is the main building and it was later expanded and then they added in a mall here beside it but the major thing is this one this is a future expansion as you can see it's sunken and it's high speed rail we also have an elevated metro here and we have a tram line that is a historical tram line that goes through the historical part of the city it goes along the one of the old business districts in the city and it also has a stop here beside the walled city which is you know it's still not completely detailed but yeah that is the city's transport hub we have the capital here as well now let's just get back into the transportation hub we have two roundabouts here that handle the traffic that is coming through this road connected to the highway which goes across the entire city excuse me for the frame rate we have that road going from the highway which is this one which turns into a waterfront i need to fix this though but yeah we have a road here that goes around the entire city connecting all the various cities as you can see and we have this road here as well that goes from the center of the capital expanding out and we also have another expanding road from the tutuban grand central station expanding out into the suburbs so to handle that roundabouts are the way to go if you have an irregular intersection if you have something that is a little bit challenging to build on an intersection or which one you think is the best time traffic lights you know they might work but it's a little bit hard but roundabouts are the best one to use they are safe they can have a high capacity and traffic doesn't really stop it just slows down traffic slows down as you can see but they don't come to a stop and traffic here is not that heavy as you can see because a lot of people are preferring to bike which leads us to the extensive bike network we have a bike network similar to Amsterdam which is amazing look at that we have bikeable roundabouts dedicated bike paths and pedestrian areas and we have this huge by the way the entire city is basically bikeable we have bike lanes here on the side we have a fully bikeable road here bikeable roads but yeah used used to be very much not in the city wise but in the lore it used to be pedestrian focused and then it was retrofitted into it was re and then it was retrofitted to fit and then it was retrofitted to accommodate cars but cars are not the priority here 
But since this is City Skylines and I also do love myself an intersection or an interchange, we have these two roundabouts here. They are perfect. Every so yeah, we have this huge square right here. And I was thinking that this used to just be, you know, very much without roads, it's just pavements and people just walked or with their horses go around everywhere. But when the roads came, they decided to pave it and design it in a way to that to be able to handle so much intersecting points and we have buses trying to get into the station which is right here but there used to be a tram stop that goes directly beside the station but since these roundabouts are in place and you wouldn't want anybody to stop here and you know since city skylines doesn't really have the asset for that i decided to just sink it down and we have a tram stop here so you can see we have a glass here to peek through so that you'd see the station in action. People are actually using this and then they can use the metro so that they could use further connect. So, they, they, so that they can move further across so that they can move further into other parts of the city. The tram line is currently serving um, this line right here. It's just this road here. They just serve this part. But this metro line, as you can see from afar, it goes around the entire place. Now I still have to fix its path because this used to be the old path, but this is the new one. I'm thinking of making it elevated but go with the road, but I'm kind of having but I'm kind of having second thoughts about that. But yeah, we'll see. And most traffic is just basically people from here moving into here and then using that to get in or they are from here using the station to go into the stadium a lot of amazing builds in the city this station right here the train station is not being used that often because we don't have that we don't have that much people trying to get into this. but the bus system is very active it's easy we already have trains and yeah i think that's quite nice in front of it we have a shopping district with this which is just perfect for this space you know a lot of people from various different parts of the city and even outside of the city with the station here the train station you'd have to have like an easy access to a tourist destination and if you might have noticed this takes inspiration from the tokyo Metro tokyo and if you may have noted and if you might have noticed this takes the freight and if you might have noticed, this takes inspiration from Tokyo Station in Tokyo, Japan, with like it being directly in front of a major road, having a park here, and having a business district in front of it. But I decided to keep it low density. But the thing is, land value here is so high that only luxury brands are able to afford to stay here. Yeah, we kind of have some issues where people are not really using this place much often and that's because it's not really connected properly with the system in the city but yeah this place is a tourist trap because this plaza right here excuse the frame rate this is so sad the plaza right here at the center i'm taking inspiration from times square and if you go in first person mode you'd see how i took inspiration from times square into building the square right here from the ground, everything is flowing smoothly. We have those two towers there on the side, which are, architecturally speaking, later additions. Here at the front, we have this huge... Oh, excuse me. Here in the front, we have this huge um, canopy or an extension of the roof so that people who want to admire the view here or just stay on the upper deck or whatever, they can have a view of the entire city here. As you can see, we have a straight, straightforward view here on the side. From this angle, you'd see the Times Square inspiration. We have the Times, the buildings from Times Square with the billboards. We have a lot of billboards here. And this place is very much manicured. But I'm thinking that these are, you might not, it's not visible, but you can move the landscaping away because if I just show you guys, that deck is elevated, right? You can essentially hold concerts here or any major event, okay? So I'm going to be showing you guys how that happens. And now this is what it'd look like if there was an event happening here. The landscaping here would be moved. Just imagine that it's movable because 
you know, I'm, I was imagining that the space didn't have landscaping, but since it's super hot here and that, and also events don't happen here like every day, it only happens like every month, every few months. And the ma most major event that is happening here is, if I can just show you guys, there we go, is a New Year ball. As you can see, we also have the Times Square ball here. So yeah, New Year is celebrated here and yeah we have we can also hold massive concerts here like i'm thinking that this this entire space here just turns into a massive a lot of people are just standing here to watch the concert here and to maximize the space they've also decided to add seating inside of the square traffic here is still allowed to happen but this is place is entirely closed off if i go closer you'd see what i mean uh, we've added in some more barriers here so that people wouldn't really go through this this entire space is different from this space oh, I should... the entrance to the station at the center is closed but you can still enter the station here on the side so, yeah, we have these two seating areas here which can be deployed when necessary to add more capacity because people are still walking through the sides and if you want to maximize the amount of space you gotta build up and stairs i mean seating is the way to go because if you jam pack a lot of people here it would make some sense but it would make more sense to have stairs here and yeah that is a special changing nature of the station it's applicable i mean it's adaptable i was thinking on you know closing the entire streets here for like new year because nobody would go through but yeah this is a circumferential road but in the next episode i am going to be building a tunnel that bypasses this entire space so that there's a tunnel here and then it goes up and then it just by surpasses the entire intersection because if you want to go around the city but you don't want to annoy this is what this will cause a bottleneck yeah if a lot of traffic wants to go through this it will cause a lot of stress and here in this part so i decided to i'm deciding on just building an underpass it will be a highway but it's not going to be a big highway. it's just going to be two lanes one on each side similar to the japanese because it's just basically a bypass road and you know just bypassing but yeah that is not i think during new year we will be closing this road because on new year's people would just be staying inside their houses or they will be attending parties and everything will just be reopened once the party ends so yeah i think from the entire night this place is closed down like there's a massive celebration like, like bang 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 i'm already talking about new year's it's just Christmas is just coming up and I'm already talking about New Year's. That's because, you know, the asset here has a New Year sign all the time. So I decided, why don't I just put that in? But yeah, in future episodes, we are going to be developing this back sign. I just placed down tons of parking here because I turned on advanced parking AI. And people need to have, sims have to have a parking space so that they can drive to this place and then ride a train to go wherever you need to be and just go back to it when and that we also have this huge green space up here i was thinking on doubling this mall making it taller but yeah i'm deciding that this place will also be one of the this is where the exclusive where the rich celebrate their new years because they have this up close view of the tower yeah and they have the view of the volcano right there but we also have another place excuse the frame rate it sucks i know but it's just what it is yeah this place right here is one of the most luxurious restaurants you'd have because this has panoramic views of the entire space and yeah this is what you'd see if you were inside of this building i think these are offices but i'm just imagining that this would be a restaurant but yeah look at that you could have the luxury shopping district here on the left you'd have times square <laughs> what should i call this place guys what should i call the times square of mugayon you have times square there mugayon volcano at the distance and you have the station right here on the side so yeah it's quite amazing no it's i think amazing is an understatement 
But yeah, a skyline here has had significant changes. I think it had over four significant changes to it. And this is the latest one. And I'm thinking on keeping this because yeah, also there is a mall there. Yeah, I built that off camera. That still has to be cleaned up. Those are just basically mall assets grouped together to form one huge mall. And that is like perfect for this place because yeah, if you want to go shopping from you're from outskirts, you can just go very easily to that side of the city. So yeah, this is Tutuban Grand Central Station, a transport hub for all transport, bus, train, metro, and bike and walking at the heart of a busy city center, which is just perfect. Everything you need, it's all there. We've got it all for you, SM. And yeah, that is all that I have for you guys today. If you've enjoyed this video and would like to see more from the channel, please give this video a big thumbs up, comment down below any suggestions you want to see next, and of course, don't forget to subscribe. If you want to show your support to the channel, consider becoming a patron on patreon.com slash karehanjo and get exclusive content, early access, and so much more. And on episode 50, I'll be releasing the save game of Mugayon to all patrons, but the highest tier patrons or any patron who wants to test out is available to test out the save game as is and if you're at the highest tier you will get the save game for each episode but if you can't that's okay you can still click that bell notification so you'll be notified whenever i upload a brand new video this is Kalehandra signing off bye